Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's session we are going to discuss about the CMOS logic design for NAND gate. First you draw the symbol for NAND gate. So logical symbol for NAND gate. In this NAND gate, you are assigning the two input namely called as A and B. The corresponding output is C. You are applying the two inputs A and B. Finally, you can get the result C. Then first you write the truth table for NAND gate. You can assign the input value A and B. Result is C. You make a table. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. It produces the four combinations of input. This input is applied to the NAND gate. The corresponding output is 1, 1, 1, 0. The property of NAND gate, any one of input is 0, the corresponding output is 1. Both the inputs are high level, the corresponding output is 0. It is a basic symbol of NAND gate on truth table. Just you convert this logic circuit into CMOS circuit. How to convert the logic circuit into CMOS circuit? Now draw the CMOS circuit for NAND gate. Before drawing the CMOS circuit, first you know the rule dot product or multiplication. In multiplication function, the PMOS connect in parallel. PMOS connect in parallel, NMOS connect in series. It's the first rule in multiplication function. PMOS connect in parallel, NMOS connect in series. Suppose addition function PMOS connecting series NMOS connecting parallel. It's a basic rule of designing the CMOS circuit. You just applying this rule into the functions. The NAND gate output C equal to A dot B the whole work. In this function, you are applying the multiplication function. In multiplication function, the PMOS is connected in parallel, NMOS connected in series. First, you are applying the VDD. VDD for plus volt. Designing the pull up transistor, PMOS transistor. This PMOS transistor connected parallel. You are sending the variable A and B. Here are two variables you can use A and B. These two PMOS transistor connected parallel. Then you can connect the two NMOS transistor in series and assigning the name of this transistor A and B. These two are the input of NMOS transistor. This A and B is the input of PMOS transistor. Here we are using the four transistor, two transistor for PMOS, two transistor for NMOS. T1 and T2 is a PMOS transistor, T3 and T4 is a NMOS transistor. Now we check the operation of transistors. First you write the input value A and B. Here we are using the four transistor that namely T1, T2, T3, T4. The final one is output response. So assigning the input values a value 0, b value 0. 
here you are applying the input a0 b0 and mos value also a0 b0 in this case the two transistors are turn on remaining two transistors are turn off t1 and t2 is turn on because here externally you posing the input value is zero this bubble represent for inverse the zero is invert to one the internal transistor it go the input value is one now t1 transistor and t2 transistor turn on t3 and t4 turn off the vdd is directly connect to the output you can take the output from here c is a output value vdd is connect to through the t2 transistor on t1 transistor finally you obtain the result is one now t1 transistor on t2 on t3 of t4 of the final output you can get one the property of nand gate both the inputs are low level the result is one the next condition 0 1 you are applying the input value a value 0 b value 1 instead of 0 you change the value 1 0 1 in this case t1 transistor on because this 0 value is passed to the bubble this bubble is convert 0 to 1 internal transistor value equal to 1 this t1 transistor turn on t2 of and t3 transistor input is 0 so this transistor also off this transistor on t4 only on t3 off the vdd is connect through t1 and result the result is 1 then you check the third condition 1 0 in this condition a value 1 b value 0 a value 1 b value 0 in this case this transistor t1 of t2 on t3 on t4 of the result you can get the result through t2 the t2 transistor is directly connected to the result vdd is directly connected to result through the t2 transistor the final one 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 a value one b value one the nmos transistor a and b value both the values are one in this case t1 of t2 of t3 and t4 on these two transistors are turned on it directly connect to ground the final result is zero it's a simple transformation of logic gate to CMOS circuit. It's a basic procedure. First you draw the symbol of the gate. Then you can write the truth table for the corresponding logical circuit. You can convert the logical circuit into CMOS circuit. You can follow the two rules. First one is if the equation is multiplication, PMOS is connected to the parallel and NMOS connected to the series. Suppose we are using the addition function PMOS series and n mos parallel based on the rule you can follow the cmos circuit and you make it the table you check the result thanks for watching my channel